Okay, look, we're back to the bookshelf. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. Before I begin this video, I just want to say that all the links down in my description are still going to be the links talking about Afrofuturism and also how to help with the Black Lives Movement right now. Those links will stay up there probably forever, <laughs> but for now, just so you know, they're down there. June is the month I finish all the series. That's it, I'm, I'm saying it, I'm saying it. The series that I have begun, that I haven't finished, are going to be finished in this month. Because, because they, it, I'm kind of stressed out. <laughs> not gonna lie. I have my phone here to help me because I need, I need, I need help <laughs> remembering all of the things. So, the first books that I want to read in June are books in series that are finished that I haven't read. All right, so series that I've, series, series that I've started, where there are, are all the books are out or up until the point where they are at, I will be reading. So let's start with the first one. The Jacobi series by William Ritter. This includes Mostly Echoes and The Dire King. As I've said before, this is a series that is basically like a YA <laughs> Sherlock Holmes meets Supernatural series. And it's really cute and I really like it and it's kind of you know, one of those, it's its one of those comfort series, really. It's, it's just something really comforting that it's fun and easy to read. The next series that I want to finish is Binti. I have the first one here, which is Binti by Neri Okorafor. That is how I saw her say her name is pronounced on Twitter. Oh, I'm really hoping that I'm doing it justice. But anyway, this, as you guys know, I've like raved about Binti and I haven't read the next two novellas in the series, which is Binti Home and this Binti the Night Masquerade. And I really want to finish this series. And yeah, there's nothing else to say. I think you've heard me rave about this book over and over. And I guess sometimes that I, when I read a first book in a series that I really, really like, I'm always kind of hesitant to go into the other books because I think like, what if I don't like the other books? But I'm sure Nettie isn't gonna do me wrong. The next series I wanna finish is the Murderbot Diaries series, which I am done with all the novellas and I just have to read the full length novel, which is Network Effect. Yes, it's Network Effect. This is by Martha Wells. And this is the story of a robot that used to be a sec unit. A sec unit is basically a security protocol robot that it becomes self-aware and then eventually it runs away and it gets into all kinds of shenanigans. And this is the first full length novel for it. And I, I am on this. I'm going to finish all of the series this month. <laughs> so. There you go, Murderbot Diaries Network Effect by Martha Wells. And then I actually have the physical books for this. I want to finish the Wayfarer series by Becky Chambers. Now, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, it's one of my favorite books of the year, and I really want to get to the next two novels. And that is, the first one is A Close and Common Orbit, which follows a character that appears in the first book. I don't want to say who the character is because the the character itself is a spoiler, but yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one. I loved A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, so also, can we talk about how cute this is matching me right now? Iconic. And the other one is Record of a Space for Born Few, and I'm really excited to get to this one because this one has an older sapphic romance, and apparently it's not tragic. And I think we need a lot more older sapphic romances out there. So I'm really excited to get to this one. So those are the series that I plan on finishing or catching up to this month. Now let's get to some of the other books that I plan to read this month. And I'm going to start with one that technically, not technically, how can you technically already read a book? I've already read this book and um, this video is going up before my weekend reading vlog so if you want to see what I thought about this book then you can go there but this is Born by Jeff Vandermeer this is the story of a post-apocalyptic eco what is it called eco-fiction world basically eco-fiction from the little research that I've done is kind of speculative sci-fi where nature takes over instead of machines because usually with sci-fi we kind of destroy nature with machines here it's kind of like 
biotech and stuff like that. And there's this, tells a story of a scavenger called Rachel who finds this creature that starts to exhibit some intelligence and she kind of starts treating it like a mother. And well, if you want to know what I thought about this book, then stay tuned for my weekend vlog or if I remember, when I put it up, I'll link it up. No, up in the cards. Um, if I remember to go back and link it. If not, just stay tuned for that. The next two books that I plan to read this month are actually nonfiction books and they are the books that uh, Shay, over a Books with Shay, picked for the Blackout Readathon. The first non-fiction book that I plan to pick up this month is White Fragility. This was written by Robin DiAngelo and this is basically a white woman talking to white people about how sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of the times and always we perpetuate racism without meaning to and that idea that I can't be racist because I'm a good person and then she kind of destroys that for us which again if you see my weekend vlog you see that I've already read this book and my thoughts about it and then the other book that Shay has in that readathon is White Rage The Unspoken Truth of Our Racial Divide by Carol Anderson I haven't gone to this one but I will soon and white rage is basically a term coined by Carol Anderson to talk about the, the overt violence that white people experience when black people try to better their standing or try to have ambitions beyond what we deem is correct for them. I'm really excited to get to this one also. Those are two of the nonfiction books that I plan to get to this month. Now I am looking at a list because I have a lot of them in audio and, and like Kindle. The next book that I plan to get to in June is new to me but I'm really excited and that is Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Tammy O. Now this book, oh my goodness, this book reminds me a lot of one of my favorite books of all time with it, which is Jeanette Winterson's Stone Gods. And basically this is a world where we are, we have destroyed Earth, as you do, and we send uh, 10 people out to space because we found a second Earth. This book tells the story of the 23 years that these astronauts which are four veterans so four adults and six teenagers who are going to go to Terra 2 first and I love how it says here 23 years with no rescue possible should something go wrong and something always goes wrong so yeah I'm really excited to get to this you know guys you know I love sci-fi and this whew, I'm so pumped for this one I forgot one of the series that I plan to finish this month and that is Children of Dune by Frank Herbert. Now I know that technically this doesn't end with Children of Dune but it ends in my heart with Children of Dune. I don't plan on continuing any further from this. This is the original trilogy and I am finishing it in June come hell or high water. Is that the saying? So as you can see this is my new edition of these books and I'm really excited to finish Dune the series. Okay the trilogy. These are not in any order. These are just the books that I plan to finish but I have Mama's Last Hug by Franz the Wall and this is Animal Emotions and What They Teach Us About Ourselves. And you guys know I love books about animals. I love books that explore animal emotion because I feel that we treat animals as like this other thing that is not capable of human emotion. In fact, we use the term human emotion when we really mean emotion. So I love books that explore this and that make me more knowledgeable about this. And I am both excited and terrified because they, I have heard that it's not as like heart hitting because I know the title Mama's Last Hug, like I, that just alone makes me want to cry and the cover makes me emotional already. But I've been told that this is not as emotional as it looks. So that's actually really good for me because I cry at the drop of a dime. Up next, we have something that I've been trying to read for months and that is Emma by Jane Austen. I want to read this so much that I just kept, I keep pushing it off to the side. I keep pushing Jane Austen off to the side because I'm scared that I'm not going to like her writing. But I 
saw the trailer for the latest adaptation to this and it's got one of my favorite actresses of all time, Anja Taylor-Joy, and this just looks like a fun book to read and, you know, I, I want to read some classics this month too. And speaking of classics, I've got here a bunch of shorter books because I realized that I'm kind of reading a lot of longer books. So I've got here Every Man's Poetry Collection of Poems by Emily Dickinson. And then I also have the one for W.B. Yeats. Yeats? I realized when I was about to film this video that I've never said this author's name out loud in English. Yeats? Yeats? I'm not sure. So I really want to get through these two and also I want to get through this amazing edition of Sylvia Platt Ariel. It looks so beautiful. I, I'm in love with this book just because of the cover. And I haven't read poetry in a while and I feel like this will be a nice way to break up some of the longer books. Then we have my graphic novel of the month and I have This Was Our Pack by Ryan Andrews. I, I just... Look at these images. Look at that. Isn't that freaking cute? And I just really want to get to this. I, I think this will be such a sweet... I know this is like an autumn read actually, but for me, it just seems like such a cute summer read for when, you know, the weather gets really hot and I miss autumn. And I don't know, it's, it's cute. It's got kids and it's got bicycles and it's got them trying to find like this star shower thing. It just seems like a really sweet, whimsical read, and I really want to get to it. I really want to get to all these books. And then, because I obviously have no idea or concept of culmination, I decided that this month I'm also going to start a new series. I am ashamed of myself, but anyway, the new series I'm starting is A Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent, which is the fictionalized story of this paleontologist called Lady Trent, who studies dragons. This is like an alternate universe where she's so well known, and this is a memoir of her, so it's told like if it was non-fiction, but it is clearly fiction. I don't know if you don't know that dragons are not real. Yeah, I decided to start this. I almost like gave this back because I was like, I can't start another series. And here I am starting another one. But it's okay, it's okay, because I'm going to finish a bunch of series this month. So, that's a lot of books. And the summer is a well-known time for me to get into reading slumps. So, is this going to be a thing that happens? I don't know. I always say, I'm like, I'm not going to read that many books. And then I'm, I'm, I end up, like, doing a 20-book wrap-up for you guys. So, I'm going to say that I'm going to finish most of these. The only one, the only one I'm unsure about is this one. This is the only one that's kind of like, maybe. But the rest, I'm reading and I'm finishing it. Yeah. And as per usual, my camera's flashing at me and I have to say goodbye. But that's a great time for it to flash at me because I've got nothing else left to say except I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. And just a friendly reminder, I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays with some videos peppered out throughout the week if I'm feeling kind of saucy, which I am lately, so maybe you might get some videos, ex some extra videos from me. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!